Jared Poland Fro knows photo.com and it is the time for the top five images from june 25th 26th that is the weekend of the theme was red but before we do that let's get into the winner of last week's photo uh, top five photos and they're going to win something this week from adorama picks adorama picks is going to give them a couple of prints to get made and um yeah so yeah adorama picks does ship around the world for you guys out there it's where i get my books made hardback books for portfolios as well as some random prints when i need posters up to what 24 by 36 so these guys or this guy the winner is number one um rhoda this guy by far blew out the rest of the photos in terms of votes and rhoda i will be sending you a message Uh, i just need to get your email address and you will be in there to get some free prints from adorama picks.com so let's go over the top five that i selected from this week and i have to say there's been over twenty-seven thousand views of this weekend post and it was great uh the theme was red but as you know i always say that you know the top five don't have to be from that theme or you don't have to just shoot whatever the theme is it's just a little bit of direction and more on next week's theme coming up later but the first one i selected was this really cool shot by mary rupel or Mari Rupel, I'm not sure how you would say it, but red was definitely played into this. Uh, I just loved the angle. Uh, it's a great shot. Oh, I even love, well, you got whatever that thing is, it's in there, but whatever. I like this image. I love the colors. I love the tones. I love the angles. I like that the lines are pretty much straight. Um, they're not exactly in the middle, but they're off to the side a little bit. I, I just, this image grabbed me because I was like, really cool shot felt right looks good feels like a cool image so that's number one in no particular order you guys are going to be able to vote um number two i loved number two from scrifer sc photographer what i love about this is it reminds me of an old old apple 2e video game i mean it looks like this dragonfly unless there's two there and i'm just missing something no this dragonfly looks like it's landed looks like it has landed in the middle of a cornfield uh with the road running up and down here and here and there's like little trees and all of that cool stuff it kind of looks like a just it looks like we're in an airplane and we're shooting something on the ground and there's another plane on the ground it's just awesome i just love this photo i just i just i saw it and i was like God, it looks like they're shooting this from a plane, and that's really a bug, so how'd they do that? Who knows? Love it. I just love the way this was shot. I don't mind that there's, uh, what do we call that, vignetting? I guess we could call it vignetting over here. I'd like to know more about this image, but it really looks like a play on the world, and I love it. So that's number two from SC Photographer. The third shot I picked was Nasos T. What a great shot of a bee hovering there with the flowers. I, the bee is really in sharp focus. The wings are fluttering, f- fluttering really fast like this. And they must get tired. I don't know. But anyway, I just thought it was awesome to capture the bee right there. Uh, probably cropped a little bit, but still love it. Thought that was a great capture. There is a little bit of red in there, but it was more about the bee than anything else. It's just right there. Um, four was really cool from D.L. Cunningham. Um yeah man what a great shot in the kitchen I, i'd venture to say that this is a cannon i don't know if it is shot with a cannon but i'm gonna say it based on the color the tones but look at this the you got the lion chefs you got just what a great moment captured nobody's looking at the camera you have the first girl she's plating some of that food uh actually it looks like she's plating some of the sauce um you got the next guy doing the he's got the fry pan he's moving so he's slightly i'm not going to call it out of focus he's motion blurred uh, that in my book is okay everybody else is frozen uh, their faces are frozen boom 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 uh, he's moving but that's showing action what's going on in the kitchen this hand is moving because it's plating something this is where i love to see action not fully frozen But the main subjects are nice and sharp, but there's some motion going on in there because that is part of the scene. This is a great kitchen shot, uh, and any any chef would love to see an image of themselves in there. So that's number four. Uh, Number five I picked because I know how difficult it is to freeze musicians in midair. And this was there, and also the guy shooting with a D3 shot at 400 ISO. 
uh, my, and a slower shutter speed. My suggestion there is you have the room to bump it. Might as well bump it up higher. Uh, you would get a much sharper image. And I'm not saying that this isn't sharp, but you're going to give yourself more leeway in the image you're, uh, with your shutter speed and then your aperture. You know, because so if you bump it up, say to even to 2000 ISO, that camera can handle up to, I was happy with that camera at 4000 ISO without a problem. Uh, it would give you much faster shutter speed, maybe go from 2.8 to 3.5 to give yourself a little bit more depth. But I thought this was cool. The colors are great. I know how difficult it is to capture a guy jumping from a band uh, on stage. And I thought it really played well with the color, the scene, and everything like that. So that's five. Here's four. Cool shot. There's three. Another cool shot. Here's two. Even cooler shot. Well, I can't say even cooler. Just a cool shot in general. They're both really cool. And then this is the first one uh, that's really cool as well. It was very difficult this week to pick it to pick some winners or to pick my top five. But now it's up to you guys to leave a comment below in the Facebook comment box about which photo number one, two, three, four, or five with your reasoning why. It's always cool to see why you liked it. Uh, and the winners will win something from AdoramaPicks.com. They may win. Uh, photo prints, a certain amount, maybe a couple of 8x10s, maybe a poster or two, or maybe even some weeks I'll give out, um, let's see, photo books, a portfolio book. You never know. We'll see what we can do, but thanks to Adorama Picks for offering to give away some stuff to the winners. Thank you guys for doing that. So now it's on to the theme for next week. Well, here it's July 4th coming up on that, uh, so it's an extended weekend here in the States. So I am going to extend the weekend to the three dates Um so what's today? The, tomorrow is the first, so it's the second, third, and fourth all around the world. So weekend is considered the second, third, and fourth this weekend only, unless I specify other in the future. And the theme, we're going to go with fireworks. Um, I'm going to explain in a video how I think you should shoot fireworks, things to think about, to think outside the box, not the general just, hey, look, there's fireworks in the sky, and that's it. I think it goes deeper than that. So if you want to hear my thoughts on fireworks, click right about here. And that will take you to my video. Uh, yeah, that takes to the video on YouTube. But if you're already on the website, you can see it in this post already. So the theme is fireworks. Yeah, don't forget, you can shoot anything you want. Put it up there. We'll pick a top five. Somebody's going to win some stuff from Adorama Picks. Uh, what a really cool weekend this was so far. Or the last weekend was. You guys did a great job posting. Um, so many posts. So many pictures to choose from. These were the top five. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. You know, we're going to say fireworks and 4th of July stuff. You know, fireworks and, and, and party celebrations. That's the theme. You know, cool enough as it is. That's it. See you all next week. Let's see those photos up in the forum. You can follow all the links in the post. And I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Jared Polin, Faroe, knows photo.com. See ya.